Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about a virtual link in OSPF. Uh, what, how to create virtual link, and what is the virtual link? Uh, virtual link uh, actually in OSPF, what happened? All the other area in OSPF. Uh, should connect to zero area zero because area zero is a backbone area so all the other area in ospf connect to area zero and route from other area pass through area zero to uh, any other area suppose uh, we have area zero here and area one here and area two here suppose area two is here now so uh, from all the area should connect to area zero because area zero is a backbone area and route from area one should pass through this backbone area to other area area two area three area four but uh, here in uh, uh, in this case uh, we have uh, area zero and area one and our area two is far from backbone area so this area cannot communicate with uh, area 0 in normal situation uh, because all the other area should directly connect to area 0 so we create a virtual link in OSPF to connect the uh, other area uh, which is far from area 0 to area uh, 0 uh, to uh, extend the route uh, suppose we have area 0 area 1 area 2 here and area 2 is connect to area 1 but not area uh, 0 so we create a virtual link from uh, this router this abr router area border router of uh, area 0 to area border router of uh, area 2 we create a virtual link uh, suppose uh, we create here i select color so virtual link will be like this from here to here so this virtual link uh, through this virtual link uh, uh, area 2 will exchange the route directly to area 0 and then the route will go flow from area 0 to area 1 because uh, area 2 cannot directly connect uh, uh, communicate with area 0 uh, because it is mandatory that uh, area 2 should uh, flow their route uh, firstly in area 0 and then to area 1 so in this case we create a virtual link to extend the area 0 and uh, connect the other area uh, with area 0 so what is the configuration of a virtual link and how we create a virtual link so I have already uh, completed the layer 3 I have given the uh, IP address to all the interfaces so, so you can see here uh, AG001 which is this interface I have given the IP address this one to this interface and also in R3 R3 where is R3 this is the R3 and I have given the uh, IP address on the G00 interface which is this one 20.1 and 30 which is point to point and on G001 this is the G001 and here is the 001 to this this is the IP address I have given to this so I complete the layer 3 now I will configure uh, a routing protocol OSPF 3 OSPF and then we uh, uh, configure virtual link uh, what is the virtual link and uh, how we will create a virtual link in OSPF to connect uh, with area 2 with area 0 so firstly we ping let's check the connectivity either this is reachable or not ping 192 we are here in now R3 R3 is here so we will ping point to point uh, this one 192.168.20.1 uh, 20.2 yes it's reachable this is the 20.1 this is 20.2 this is 10.1 this is 10.2 so yes it's reachable now we will ping 30.2 which is 30.2 is this one this one is 30.2 so let's see yes it's reachable now we will so layer 3 is complete now we will configure a uh, a routing protocol OSPF routing protocol let's uh, configure one by one a routing protocol so first okay in system view OSPF 1 and area oh sorry ID sorry router ID we have also give the router ID because it is mandatory to give the router IDs so this is the router 4 so we will give the router ID is 4.4.4.4 .4 .4 .4. So I have given the router ID. Now we'll select the area in which area this router belongs. So this router belongs to area 0. Okay, area 0. Now we define the network 192.168.1.0's network 1.1. On this interface, it is 1. Dot, sorry, 1.2. And uh, we will keep the strict match 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0. 0. 0.0.0.0.0. If you don't know about what is 0. 0.0.0.0 or 0. 0.255, so you can uh, watch my previous video of OSPF and OSPF uh, multi area. So in, in those videos, I have cleared down what is the uh, wildcard Mars in uh, OSPF network. Okay, now we'll keep the strict match. Okay, we define the network here in area 0, 1.2 strict match. And uh, now we go in in this router, in this five router 5. So router 5 is here. System view, uh, OSPF 1 and router ID because it's the uh, router number 5. So we'll give the 
5.5.5.5 and now the area area in area 0 router 5 in area 0 and network is 192.168.2.2 and 0.0.0.0 okay so now we go in router 1 so router 1 in router 1 uh, uh, first of all we give the ospf system view system view ospf1 router id is router id uh, we will give the router id as 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1. And now we define the network. Uh, you can see here the two network, uh, network 1.0 and 2.0 belong to area 0 and network this network 10.0 network is belong to area 1. So we will define two different area and then we define their networks. So first of all we define area 0. Area 0 from area 0 network R192.168.1.1 and 0 .0 .0 .0. 0.0.0.0. 1.1 is uh, this interface ip address and 0.0.0 is wildcard mask of a strict match and here one more network is 2.1 so we will do this 2.2.1 okay yes 2.1 we define the 2.1 so you can see here the states are being uh, changed you can see uh, ospf state from init then two way then access start neighbor relationship neighbor loading state this is the exchange state so ospf uh, they are uh, changing their ospf packet from neighbor state to up state okay now we go back and we go area one so area one we are in area one so we are in area one and define the network here ospf network is 10.0 so network is network is 192.168. 10.1 and 0.0.0.0 .0 okay so this is the network here now we go in uh, area, uh, router 2 now we go in router 2 and uh, also define here system view system view ospf ospf1 oh sorry go back ospf1 and the router id is 2.2.2.2 and now we define the now we define the uh, area uh, in which area the router 2 is long router 2 belong to area 1 so in area router 2 all the network of router 2 belong to area 1 this network and this interface network so network 192.168.10.2 and 0 .0, .0, 0 0 0 and also 20.2 now you can see here so you can see here i have given the 20.2 as well so it will also create a neighbor relationship now we go in router uh, 3 in router 3 in system view ospf1 router id is router id is 3.3.3.3 .3 and the area in in uh, router 3 belong to two areas uh, one interface from area 0 uh, uh, area 1 and the other interface from area 2 so area 1 we define the network of area 1 192.168. 20.1 and put back and area 2 area 2 network is 192.168.30.2 and 0.0.0.0 .0 so you can see here the notification from two way state to full state okay now we go in uh, router 6 router 6 system view system view ospf ospf1 sorry ospf1 router id okay go back ospf1 router id uh, what is the router id uh, router id should be 336.6.6.6 because it's router 6 and now we define the network uh, now we define the area area is 0 and uh, sorry area is 2 area is 2 and the network is 192.168.30.2 and 0.0.0.0 .0 now you can see here uh, it will also receive the notification uh, from the neighbor uh, area 2 router id area 2 and area 2 uh, 192.168 okay uh, now it will create a neighbor relationship now we will ping these two area will be reachable to each other but this area will not be uh, reachable because it's not directly connected to uh, area 0 we will uh, do connect this area via virtual link later now we will test either area 
zero and area one which is directly connected to area zero are reachable to each other or not now will ping i will ping uh, this ip address from this router okay ping ping 192.168.20.2 uh, okay now you can see here 20.2 uh, is here and it's reachable from here you can see here area 0 and area uh, 2 uh, 1 are reachable to each other now i will ping this one yes it's reachable uh, 20.1 is here this interface now i will uh, ping this interface 30.1 it will not be reachable because it belongs to area 2 30 any interface of 30 it will not be reachable you can see here they are not reachable because uh, this is not directly connect to area 0 uh, we will connect uh, this uh, area via virtual link so let's do the configuration of virtual link and connect area 2 with area 0 so uh, remember one thing uh, when we connect uh, uh, when we connect area 2 with area 0 and create a virtual link we will create between uh, uh, abr this abr this uh, area border router of area 0 and this is the area border router of uh, area 2 so now we will create a virtual link uh, between uh, ar1 r1 and r2 through area 1 because uh, virtual link passing through area 1 so we have to go first in area 1 and then give the commands of virtual link uh, after that uh, uh, virtual link will be created and route will be exchanged so first of all uh, we have to check some uh, configuration of spf1 and display this so now you can see here i have made a mistake of uh, uh, this interface is uh, 30.1 and i have given the 30.2 so let's go in area 2 area area 2 and undo undo this one this command okay paste this here and uh, just do this command we have to do this command one here so because this interface is one and uh, we have to match that strictly so now you can see here uh, it has been exchanged the route firstly we when we enter the commands the route were not been exchanged uh, you can not be able to see this this uh, notification so now this notification are uh, are coming and now it means that ospf is up so now we go in this router and see the router id of this router so display router id router id so now you can see router id is 1.1 which we given that if uh, you are not able to observe this router id so just go in this view and uh, uh, set this command the uh, reset ospf process or you can uh, also save this configuration and restart your router save like this save configuration and restart your router by turning it on and off so the router id of this router is so you can see here the router id of this router is one and also we see the router id of this router so uh, display router id router id so router id is 3.3.3.3 if you are not uh, able to see this router id or any router id which uh, you uh, see here so will you you will create the pair according to this router id so now we go in a in a system view ospf1 and area 1 because uh, because virtual link is passing through area 1 so we have to go in area 1 and now here we will give the command vlink pair uh, what is the vlink pair which is the pair of this vlink because vlink is uh, going from here to here and pair of this vlink is 3.3.3.3 so you have to give the router id 3.3.3.3 and vlink pair has been created so now we go here in the system view ospf area 1 and we also create the vlink pair and who is the pair of this router this router pair is this one the 1.1.1.1 so we have given this command so now you will observe that uh, link has virtual link has been up and uh, ospf notification are coming states notification is in the uh, initial state now it is x start exchange and now it is loading and now it is full urgency and full relationship between two router so now we go here and we first of all we see the display routing table routing table routing okay display ospf routing so now you can see here uh, network 3 is coming via this interface 1.1.1 now we will ping ping 30 is network 192.168.30.1 uh, uh, so now you will see that route has been exchanged now it's able to ping 30.1 or 30.2 so now the these route are exchanged you can also ping this from here as well uh, ping 192.168.1.1 so you, now you can see here you are able to ping this 
so this is the uh, all about the configuration of virtual link and uh, this is all about uh, the virtual link if you have any questions so you can ask in comment so do it carefully and and uh, do not uh, make any mistake in between configuration so this is the uh, configuration and thank you very much and uh, please hit the subscribe